hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Gabby and today we are filming on the floor I am I'm sitting on the floor we are we're on the floor because I have books that some stacks of books next to me on the floor because today what I have for you is a book unhaul video. I want to show you all the books that I want to get rid of, that I'm also a couple, I'm kind of on the fence to get rid of, but that I just, I just want to purge my shelves of. I don't currently know what I'm going to do with these books, but I might just donate them to the library. But until I do that, they will be kept in my back cabinet here and I have more books I want to get rid of that are in here but they're books that were never really mine and a lot of which I've never even read so a lot of those there's a lot of those books in these cabinets already that I also need to get rid of along with these but these books were books that were actually up here on my shelves that I want to get rid of so yeah let me show you all the books I want to unhaul. So these first books might not be a surprise and I actually feel like, I don't know, I feel like it makes sense to just get rid of them because I will probably never read these again. These first two books I have are Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So. I do not own the Harry Potter series. These are the only two books I own that are Harry Potter books. And I only got this one because for it was for a class that I took, a theater class that my professor decided, oh, why don't we read this play as our last play just for funsies. So I got it. But I'm never gonna read these again you know, and so I will probably just end up donating it. But at least now I can like keep these in like my bottom cabin cabinet so I could get used to it not being there, you know. For whatever reason, I get very attached to my things. And so sometimes I have a hard time get of getting rid of things so i feel weird about getting rid of this not because i like re i'm really attached to the harry potter books because like i did like them when i read them but i'm not as emotionally attached to them as a bunch of other people are i i just i don't know i just i just feel weird about getting rid of books so you know you know what books i'm emotionally attached to percy jackson but if you've been watching this channel for longer than two seconds you would have already known that so hey so quick note from editing gabby here because i didn't mention in the video the main reason why i'm unhauling my harry potter books and it's mainly because of jk rowling and i kind of allude to it in the video but i don't actually go into it because i think it's probably obvious or implied why I'm unhauling these but just to be very clear I'm getting rid of them because of JK Rowling and how she is a clown and a dumbass and I just don't really I don't need nor care to have her books on my shelves and that's just that okay back to the video the next book that I want to get rid of, I kind of want to get rid of, again, another one I feel weird about getting rid of, <laughs> just for really insignificant reasons, and that is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Now, I kind of, I've been thinking about getting rid of this just because, like, I really liked it when I read it, but... Honestly, I feel like I forgot so much about it and I feel like I couldn't even tell you when exactly I read it But I just feel like I don't really need it. I don't really need it anymore I don't think I'm gonna read it again ever, but I feel weird about getting rid of it Again for a stupid reason because it goes so well on like the rainbow part of my shel shelves Because it's like the perfect shade of light green and everything just flows, you know 
which is a dumb reason to not get rid of a book, but I don't know. I feel like it's time, mainly because for whatever reason, I don't know if you could see, but the cover looks kind of like old and worn and almost like dirty. And I don't really know how that happened. I don't think I've ever really taken it out anywhere. Like it's only ever been on my shelves, I think. And then when I read it, so I don't know where all this dirt came from, but and I also kind of want to get rid of it because Rainbow Rowell, because she is kind of problematic. Do I even, do I even need to say? I mean, same thing with J.K. Rowling. What problematic authors we have, which is why their books are going bye bye So these next books, so basically freshman year of college I took an American crime fiction class and so obviously we read a bunch of American crime fiction and so I got all of the books that we were reading for that class in case I wanted to keep any of them you know if I really really like them but a lot of the books I don't really care too much about enough to keep so these are those books so we got so we got let's see after Dark My Sweet by this is this is not a book this is a collection of short stories about the continent continental op that's going by then we have Double Indemnity Indemnity oh my god but like look how cool this cover looks though right I don't really care about the story but look at this cover it looks so cool wow too bad it's going bye bye We have The Maltese Falcon, also going bye bye And we have The Big Sleep, which is also going bye bye All of these are going bye bye You know, the problem with a lot of these old crime fiction stories is a lot of them have just so many issues today this stuff would not fly it just wouldn't it's just ugh. like for example this book the main character is really homophobic and when we were talking about this in class we were basically kind of like yeah we've it's probably more so because the author himself was homophobic and so the characters were also homophobic Oh, and then there and then and then there's this one which is about a mentally ill guy who gets caught up with criminals and then they all kidnap a kid. Wow, what fun times, right? <laughs> like the dude escaped a psych ward and then and then I guess becomes a criminal and he's also really violent and I'm just like there were a lot of heated there were so many heated discussions about this book in class. Not for me though, I feel like I didn't really have too many heated opinions about this, but everyone else seemed to have lots of heated opinions about this. It was a time, it was a time, oh my god, but my American crime fiction class, I love that class. It was such a good class. I, I loved it so much. Alright, next book. Okay, so the next book we have is Bystander and I'm not, honestly, I'm not really sure why this is still sitting up on my shelves, if I'm going to be honest, because I read this for school because it was the book you had to read before, like the summer before sixth grade. So I was 11 when I read this. I do not remember this book at all. I just remember that it's about bullying and the main character, he's a bystander who witnesses bullying. And that's all I remember. That's all I know about this book. So I don't really know why I still have it. So it's getting gone. It's going goodbye. Goodbye. The next book I have is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Now, I was looking at this book be before I started filming and looking at it, it's making me second guess whether I actually want to get rid of it because See, I got this as a birthday gift from a friend in high school, 
but I don't feel like I'm ever going to read this series which is why I'm kind of like oh I should just get rid of the book but actually looking at this book this is a really nice copy of this book it's almost like a special copy you know there's there's pictures in it and stuff and more pictures just look at all these cool pictures wow 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 it's kind of making me second guess do i really want to get rid of this because this is actually a really pretty copy and for some reason it's a lot heavier than it should be like this is such a small book it, this shouldn't be this heavy but it is it's such a pretty copy do i really want to get rid of this now i'm on the fence about this again because i've never wow i'm wow look at this there's like a there's there's a letter in it wow it's so it's so cool now i actually don't know if i want to get rid of this oops well um so the next two books that i want to unhaul they are from another class that I took. Um, I took a contemporary world literature class sophomore year. So it was last year. And so these are, so we read four books in that class. And so two of the books I want to get rid of. And then two of them I'm keeping. Obviously I'm not showing you the ones that I'm keeping, but I want to get rid of these two. The first one is Minaret by Leila Abu Leila. And this isn't a bad book i just don't really care about it enough to keep it but if you're inter you know if you're interested in grabbing this book let me know because it's basically about this woman from i think sudan who is from an affluent family but something happens there's a revolution or something the government gets overthrown and so her family is exiled and they go to London and then basically this girl who used to live you know in affluence with you know money she ends up living poor working as a nanny in London and so it switches back and forth between different time periods in her life and honestly it's it's an interesting read if you if you want to check it out You know if you if this sounds interesting to you i would recommend it i just i just personally just don't want to keep it <laughs> and the cover the cover is pretty i like the reds and the oranges and then the other book from that class that i have is the white tiger and yeah i want to get rid of this just because this book is strange the i think the author described this book more as like a thought experiment because basically so this book takes place in india and the main character is this guy who works as a servant for rich people right and he basically he kills his boss the main character of, character of this book who's a servant kills his boss kills the guy he's serving and then you kind of follow his story to find out why he killed his boss and it's just very strange the main character obviously not a good guy he's a murderer it's meant to comment i i think on the relationship between the rich and you know their poor servants and you know corruption and all this different all this stuff in india and blah 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 wow that was a terrible explanation but the main character is also kind of racist and very sexist and all in it all around just a creepy guy like i said he's a murderer overall just kind of creepy there are some there's some interesting quotes some interesting quotes in this book yeah so 
that is going bye bye and the next book that i'm going to hunt on haul is also is a popular book and it is divergent i just don't want to keep this it's big and i'm never going to read this again so because i just don't care um so it's getting gone it's getting gone because i don't care i don't need it anymore i've read it i've read the trilogy i don't care too much about it the movies the first movie was good and then the rest were trash so it's this is just getting gone it's just i don't really have much to say about this i'm just i'm getting rid of this book that's all i have to say so then the the last books that i'm going to unhaul the lot these last three books are all by the same author who i just i just don't care about these books i don't want them i don't i'm never going to read them and these are james dashner's books two of them from the maze runner series and then one of them from his other series and i literally just realized that i do not have the maze runner or the scorch trials which i thought i had them but i guess i don't maybe i got rid of them before i don't know but i have the death cure and the kill order i never read the kill order but i just i don't want it i read see i read the trilogy and i didn't like it i liked the first book but then just the other books in the series were not good i i don't think they were good it just i finished the tr trilogy and i was kind of just like okay that was it what was the point what was the point i don't get the point there was no point there's no point to anything and then this is his other series and i just i don't want it because also apparently also james dashner is a shitty dude so more reason to get rid of his books but yeah i just don't want these they don't care about those are all the books that i want to get rid of those that is my unhaul that is that is it let me know if you have any of these books and you want to get rid of them let me know if you have these books and some of them you want to keep just let me know your thoughts down below if you made it to the end of this video please comment comment this emoji the the kind of x like no emoji like the getaway emoji because you know some of these books you just want to know get away i don't i don't know that didn't make any sense whatsoever but yeah leave a like if you liked subscribe if you want to see more and thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all next time Bye.